This is going to be a real quick review on one of my latest customs. This one is, of course, Batman. Uh, this one is not just like a repaint. It's a mixture of a few different figures, which I'm going to go over real quick. All right. So the base body, Black Panther. Started with the uh, Sentinel Builder figure, Black Panther here. Kept the hands, but I used spikes from the Arkham Asylum Batman figure. A lot of these are pieces from that figure. Then I just kind of like molded over it. To make it look solid. This belt is from an older Batman figure. I don't know what line it was from. But it didn't really have a lot of articulation. So gone. The hips are from the Captain America. Ultimate Captain America. See so many of them. Um, not the one with the stupid useless holster that was out. So I used the thighs from that figure. The knees from that figure. And then the boots are actually from Cable. An older series cable. I really like that cable because you had your toe articulation. And you had these cool little straps over here. The only problem were the boots were yellow. So trust me when I say it was a pain in the ass. A lot of grinding with my Dremel. A lot. Alright. So other than spikes here and here. The cape and the head are from the Arkham Asylum Batman it was the, I think, the second series. The one that was, like, really, really flexible. Um, but, you know, not flexible enough, so he had to die. What I used was I used the ball peg from Captain America. Captain America or U.S. Agent. I think it was U.S. Agent. It was a uh, some Marvel Legends figure with a bigger ball peg because some of these older figures just had some weird little peg. So what I did was I opened it up. Let's see if you can see it in the light. I widened this so I could fit that ball peg in there. This way you could fit you know, other Marvel Legend heads on there. Batman, you can get your up, your down, your left, your right. And a little bit of that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, girl, swivel going on. All right. All the other articulations there. You get your shoulder joint movement here. Double jointed elbow. Wrist movement. Plus this figure had the articulated fingers. So you get four articulated fingers. I sanded down the uh, claws that he had. He had those gold tipped claws on there. So, you know, sometimes Batman's depicted with pointed fingernails. So I left those little claws on there. Give him a little point. We have hip swivel here. Rotates his upper thigh. I'm sitting here forgetting the uh, ab crunch. The ab crunch. He has, there it is, the ab swivel. Check it, check it, check it. And I had to uh, sculpt a little bit here because the Black Panther was a lot thinner than these hips. So I added a little bit on the sides, the lower abs, and did some work on the back musculature just to make it fit in a little better. All right. You can't really see it, but I also sculpted on a paint. I didn't sculpt. I painted a bat symbol, and I didn't want to go through the sculpt. I wanted to paint it on there so it's kind of dark, but you see it better in person. Back to the legs. Like I said, and eh, eh, T-joint. Swivel the thigh, double jointed knees. This actually rotates up here. You get ankle swivel, a little bit of ankle pivot, rocks just a little bit, toe articulation, and of course back and forth there. So all in all, I think this was a good figure. You know, a lot of different parts, but came out nicely. Another thing I just realized I was tearing apart a figure I was tearing apart who was it uh, the Punisher and was it series 5 Punisher yeah series 5 Punisher head fits on there a little scruffy a little nasty but a little bit of drumming and he fit on there as well kind of like a good Bruce Wayne head I don't know it might be a little big for this body but if I ever do another Batman I might use this head as a Bruce Wayne I think it does look okay you know Let's see that with the cape on. With the cape on is where it doesn't quite fit so well. Maybe, maybe not. You be the judge. Well, Batman. Well, well that's that. Um, gonna throw this guy up on eBay. So if you see it, bid on it. Remember to subscribe, like my uh, Facebook channel, 609 Customs, my Facebook page, YouTube channel, whatever. You know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. Hit subscribe, go to the Facebook, like that. Thank you, man. Later.